There's no closed door porn. What you're doing in your bedroom, what you're doing in private is affecting my children. Mm. It's affecting my, my friends. It's affecting everybody. Remember when we said that if they came for trans individuals and the LGBTQ community at large, that it wouldn't stop there. Republicans are endlessly fascinated by whatever it is that you are doing in the privacy of your own home and the privacy of your bedroom. It's not just us, the gays. They're coming for everyone, although coming for one group should be enough for everyone to sort of do something about it. But they're also coming for you. Because didn't you know that you watching porn in your bedroom by yourself affects his children? Didn't you know that? So uh, we get our rights from God. Government doesn't give us our rights. We, our Constitution says this very thing. We get our rights from God. That's just not true. I think he's upset because Dusty Devers would be a fantastic porn stage name, and he feels like he has missed an opportunity to use it as such. It's not too late, Dusty. You can still follow your dreams. It is absolutely degrading and defiling, and it's domineering. It is controlling. And it's not as though it's free from a controlling uh, higher power. That the higher power is in powers. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's principalities, powers, and rulers of the air. And they are setting up and waging war against humanity. And what is good, right, and true is from God who created us. And so this is, it is a power, it's a spiritual warfare. And these people are, are getting, anyone who gets caught up into pornography is caught up, not just in a power of flesh and blood, but a power that they aren't able to control that's degrading them and seeking to eradicate their use, their value, and true society. I didn't know. Did you guys know that sex workers are setting up and waging war against humanity? Well, porn's been around for as long as humans have been around, so they are taking their good, sweet time ending humanity. You just know this guy's search history is an absolute devastation. Now, can the argument be made about the dangers of sex work, the issues where they, it intersects with human trafficking? Yes, absolutely. But those aren't the points that they're actually making. What they care about is controlling your morality and what they think it should be based on the Bible. They don't want you to have the freedom to control your sexuality, and they certainly don't want safety for sex workers in the industry either. We already have um, so much data out there that shows it's really dangerous and scary to be um, a victim of, of human trafficking and to be a sex worker, right? You will, can be beat up, you can be sexually <coughs> assaulted, um, you can be murdered, and things that... Uh, that make it more dangerous for the Johns also make it more dangerous for the sex workers because they increase the likelihood that the John will just say, well, to make sure that I don't get caught, I'm just going to knock you unconscious or I'm going to terrify you so that you know you're not going to cross me or I'm going to kill you so that you can't speak. Do you have concerns about that? Yeah, yeah and, and I understand that. Uh... To use, we're talking about traffic individuals that are uh, been coerced. That they're you know coming. They're, it's almost not a, a chosen profession. If we're going to use the word sex worker, to me that somebody who's choosing a profession or or uh, that industry, right. and with every yeah, industry and comes things, occupational and hazards. Yeah. Any industry, including ours comes with occupation. The, burp, the bills we just hear, heard previous to this shows the occupational hazards there can mm -hmm. come being a judge. Okay, first of all, yes, every industry has occupational hazards. If you work in construction, there are certain rules and laws in place to help protect you from the hazards of that job. Why is this job any different? And it is simply because you want to punish people partaking in it. Listen, no matter how you view the morality of pornography or sex work, it has always existed and it will always exist. That is just a fact. What we can control is whether or not we make it safe, whether or not we regulate things, whether or not we make it a better environment. And if you're sitting there thinking, well, this doesn't affect me very much, 
I don't partake in any of those things. Whenever they detect something like this, it does not stop here. They will keep going until they can control every single facet of your life. So if you want to keep what you do in the privacy of your own home and in your own bedroom to yourself, then you should probably keep this in mind. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.